Right, welcome back folks. Today we've got something a little bit different. We've got this uh, Creality Falcon 2 laser cutter and engraver. This is the latest one that Creality do and they've sent it out for me to have a look at. So it's totally new to me all this. So we're gonna have a quick look on the table what we've got in the box. And we're gonna do a bit of a test engraving in this video because they do give you a few samples in the box. And uh, don't forget to stick around to the end of this video because there's a massive saving discount this month on this machine. So let's take a look what's in the box and then hopefully we'll get started and do a bit of engraving. Right, so having a look here now, this is the actual main laser engraver machine. This is how it comes out of the box, built like this. The only thing I've done is just stuck the feet on for the minute, just to raise it off the table. Also has a on and off key safeguarding, which is quite handy if you've got kids about, so you can lock it like that and now the machine's disabled. You also get the air pump in the box with this one. Uh, you get your goggles, you, you must wear them because of the laser. Uh, you get your power pack supply, and you also get this little unit in the box with this one, and this gives you the optional extra to engrave on your glasses or vases, anything that looks like a cylinder, basically. So w that won't be coming in today's video, we'll do a later video on that. Uh, you also get your main laser there, and you've just got a few miscellaneous cables, and I say you get a few bits of uh, different materials to try out on. So we'll have a look at them in a minute. We're just gonna get this set up now and uh, we'll get started. Right, so we're gonna have a, go, a quick test piece now. folks right folks we're all set up again on this one I've got my little uh, steel piece of metal there one other thing just to mention before we do go ahead you've got your three lights on the front here your indicator lights you've got your air light that doesn't um, activate green until you start cutting with your air pump so that's fine flashing red for now you've also got a, a fire light which is on green and uh, obviously if there is a little fire under the laser, that will indicate, and I think it flashes red like the air pump. And then you've got a, a lens light there. So with it being green, that's all good. That means our lens is nice and clean. But again, if there is crap on the lens or smoke build up from when you're doing on the wood, that will change color as well. So once you're going, you do always want to see, if you're using air on the wood, you do want to see three green lights. But as we're engraving on metal, uh, we don't need the air on so just in your settings there I don't know you can see that well it's not very focused very good so I've actually turned the air off on this because you don't want air on the engraving so I framed it all up we're just going to hit start again I've put it onto a uh, speed 6000 and I've put the power onto 50% again I've got to learn all, all what sort of powers I need to be using so I'm just going halfway with the power so let's hit start and uh, see what happens. So as you can see, the air is on amber because we're not using air on this. You don't need it on the engraving. So again, got my glasses on. Hopefully I've lined everything up right. And uh, let's see what happens. So this one reckons it will take about five minutes. And the reason it's gonna take a bit longer is because I've got the letters filled in as well. Rather than just the outline of a letter, I've actually got the um, letters being filled in engraved. So it will take a little bit longer. And it's just something different that I'm just showing you. So you you can on the wood like we had the, just the outline or you can have it coloured in as well. So I'm going to stop talking and I'll let you enjoy this time lapse.
right, so coming in, folks, as you can see that, that's looking pretty good. It's not far off of a uh, centre, to be fair. The N is just a little bit on the edge there, so it could have been doing shifting that way a little bit. But with that setup, I'm pretty happy with how it's uh, aligned on there, really. It's a bit light in here to show you, really. I'll just try and get it up. So as you can see, that's etched in there, lovely. And you can barely feel that either. So I'm really happy with that. We're going to be able to do a lot of projects and stuff with this uh, machine. So as you can see, we've got a couple of nice uh, test pieces there that have come out really well. The centering's not too bad, but there must be a way that I can... Uh, got to look into this further where I can get this bang on so every time we're getting it bang on so we're not going to be off centre because we can't be doing stuff like that. We want it perfect. So we're going to have a quick look at a couple of other things now with the machine. First of all, I just want to show you the air assist and how that works. So as I previously mentioned, with air assist, you don't use that for your engraving uh, on your metals and that. It's more for the wood because you do get a bit of smoke. So you can actually buy a canopy for these and then you can put that over it and that contains all the smoke and you can actually adapt to get a, a little hoover to suck all the smoke up because doing it like I'm doing it in the living room you uh, don't really want to be doing it like that because I've had to have the back door open because I say it does create a bit of smoke in here so that's just one thing to mention you want to have a good ventilated area uh, if you are going to be using wood on the machine so this is the pump here and it comes with these little rubber grommet feet I don't know how well you can see them on the camera but once that's sat on that glass table you didn't even hear that vibrating at all, really quiet that. And in fact, I did think it wasn't working at one point, so I did have to touch it and it was working. So yeah, it, that's that's really good. And uh, then feet do it justice. So it does have a little uh, dial here, so you can increase your airflow, how much you want. It's just like an, on a volume control there. So right down, or, or you can just uh, take it right up. And that depends on your cutting at the time. So really good, simple um, idea that not all of them do have these airflow systems. So with the airflow, it's just getting all the stuff out from the laser. So you've got less chance of it catching fire down there. And I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take the laser off and I'm gonna have a go at trying to just changing the laser lens. So I've got a spare one in the box here. So let's quick have, a, have a little look at that and see how easy it is to change. First of all, I've powered the machine off at the wall. You can hit the power switch and you can do that. Uh, take your keys out. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna lift the laser off of the cradle. So you've got your laser off now and you have a little, uh, you'll find the laser under it, it has a black cap on it. So you just wanna undo that anti-clockwise. So that's just uh, where the laser fires through. And then in here, you've got a brass ring. So in your toolkit, you get this little pair of tweezers and there's actually two slots in this brass ring and uh, you just want to be twisting it. You can get them in the slots, the tweezer ends, and you can just twist it around. Remember, you don't want to be touching the lenses. If it's an old dirty lens, it doesn't so much matter on the way out. But when you're putting your new one in, you do really want to uh, keep all fingers off really. So that's the ring out. I say it's just a tiny little brass ring. So don't lose that. And then there should be a little black like O-ring in there as well. Which has just come out. And it's actually come out with the lens as well. So I'll just bring this up to you. So there's the little black O-ring and it's actually still stuck to the lens. So because this is a new lens, I don't really want to waste it. So I'm going to stick that back in. This is just a little video to show you how you can take your uh, lens out. So then remember to keep your area always nice and clean. So I'm just going to drop that lens back in. Do not touch that lens because that's going to cause you issues if you do. So just drop that back in. Your lens will go in first and then your uh, rubber washer. I say you do get a spare lens in your pack. But I say I don't want to use that because that's a waste. I've only done a couple of uh, engravings, isn't I? So... And that does come in a little plastic bit. So once you do open that plastic up, use your tweezers to grab it out of the plastic. So do not want any fingerprints on that. That's the last thing you want. So we've got our lens and our washer back in there. So then you get your brass ring. It can only go in one way because there's slots only on one side. So just sit that in and you can start that off with your fingers, but do not push in 
because you will touch the lens so just use your fingers just to start it off because it will be a bit fiddly otherwise so I've just started that off now and then you can just spin it on it is a bit fiddly to be fair I'm not going to lie to you I think I've got this ruler here and I think that will just fit in them slots nicely to be honest with you it is a bit fiddly with them tweezers but that's the way they show you how to do it on the website but yeah just using this just make sure you've obviously got something that doesn't impede and scratch the lens. That's the main problem. You do not want to be touching the lens. But this steel rule is uh, working a treat. Right, so that's the lens back in again. Just give that a little bit of a blow. You do get a cloth in there as well. So I'm just going to quickly just wipe that lens. So then you just put your screw cap back on for your laser. Again, be careful, you don't want to cross thread it. So get that on there lovely like that. Just tighten that up. It's only got to be hand tight, you ain't got to go mad. And then that is the laser head replaced or cleaned. So you just go ahead then, just sit it back on your laser carrier. I'm not going to set it adjusted at the minute. I'm just going to put it in because uh, next time, depending what I use, if it's wood or metal or anything, whatever I use, I can set the laser up each time as you go. Nine times out of 10, um, engraving is always on the highest setting. Uh, it's just if you're doing cutting, you get different lengths where the laser needs to be dropped down depending on the thickness of the wood you're using. So, so just something else to mention, I'll say this is the 22 watt, but I have found out that you can actually change the laser heads. So you can decrease it to the 12 watt or you can up it to the um, 33 watt laser head as well. So if you have got just the 22 one and you do need a bit more power on a laser, you can actually, instead of just buying another whole unit, you can just upgrade your laser as well. So that's something handy to know as well. So yeah, this is the first video of me getting, to used, getting used to this Gravity Falcon 2 laser engraver and cutter. Uh, there's a lot of learning for me to do on here. So, it, today's video was just basically getting a basic start up on it having a quick go at doing a bit of engraving as you can see we've done we've done all right we've got a bit of engraving on wood and we've got a bit of engraving on some metal as well there but i do really want to do um a bit more on this I, i'll say i've got the roller so we can do vases even pint glasses anything along them lines even um water bottles you can engrave on them as well the tin water bottles so there's a lot this machine can actually do and i say it's an ideal business opportunity for you as well so there's a lot of money to be made with a machine like this i say it is a business and we've not even scratched the surface on what this machine can actually do i've actually uh, been sent from reality actually sent me um a file across in a in a message with hundreds of different things that could be made with this machine from uh, little wooden like jewelry boxes even to wooden wine racks to wooden lampshades uh fantastic loads of stuff i mentioned earlier in the video even to like 3d puzzles that you can uh cut out and actually be made like dinosaurs and kids stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna have a flick through them and i'm gonna choose one and uh, i'm gonna make a second video on this just to show you what sort of crafty stuff can be done with this as well because there's a lot of people out there that like doing arts and crafts and that sort of stuff so this might even benefit someone in the craft market you can uh, make yourself some of these stuffs and even sell them down the local Christmas markets or uh, markets if you do f markets and fates and stuff like that. As I say, it's a good opportunity for a business, whether it be online or in a, a like a market store or something like that as well. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they are doing a hefty discount on this machine at the minute for, uh, I don't know how long it's running for, but I think it's the whole of November this month. So uh, they got the Black Friday sale on and on the top of the Black Friday sale, they're actually giving me a discount code as well. So I say these are, I think, about £1,100 here in the UK. I'm not sure what that is in uh, dollars and stuff, but in UK, it's about £1,100. And with the Black Friday discount and my own personal discount, they're giving us, um, it's actually coming out at £568.65p for this. So that is practically near enough half price you're getting this for so if you are even thinking about getting one 
Uh, now's the time to do it this month because say you're not going to pick another one of these up for five and a half hundred quid less than 600 pound basically you're not going to find a brand new one for less than 600 pound um, for the latest one as well this is the new one for this year as well so i'm going to leave all the links down below they've sent me a discount code for their actual web page and they've actually sent me the discount code for amazon as well so depending where you buy it through uh, the discount code for the um web page is actually i'll just check it because it's on my phone in an email so the discount code for the actual quality website is uh the code is fn foxtrot november that is 22w so whiskey so i'll put that on the screen now fn 22w that's all in capital letters as you see it on the screen that's for the website and check out the amazon link down below as well because the code for that is going to be falcon cr50 that's f-a-l-c-o-n c-r and 5-o so falcon 50 as you can see on the screen there that's for if you're going through the amazon put that in at the checkout as well and you'll get further reductions on that so as i say 568 quid you can't knock that at all that is a decent excellent price for that and uh from 1100 pounds i think that's you're not going to get better than that as well so do check that out keep an eye out in the next few weeks because there will be a follow-up video where we're going to do some uh, craft with it as well and then uh, long term i think i'm going to keep this expand a lot of you local subscribers know we do the t-shirt printing and the uh, metal sign printing uh, i think we're going to stick this on the side of that as well and uh, just expand that little venture there just to bring up just expand that venture because it is i say this is another income and if you do want to keep hearing little follow-up updates about that just drop us a comment down below if you want to see what where we are in a, with, with it in about six months time what we're doing um and what we're creating i'll bring that back to you and tell you what we're doing with it so i'm going to leave it here for this one uh, appreciate your time in watching this one don't forget check out the links and if you're going to think if you're even thinking about getting one of these go ahead now and now's the time to buy it while they're half price so i don't think they're going to come down this price again anytime soon so even if it's a gift for someone for christmas what a fantastic gift that would be so until next time we'll see you about